going on everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today I'm here to answer a question, which is, what carryover do powerlifting movements have in everyday life? Um, basically, this article is like pretty straightforward. It goes over the muscle groups that each movement uses, as well as the, um, the, function, the function that they serve. So basically, for the bench press, and I'm just going to go and get right into it. Also, before I get into this, don't forget to check out the Black Book of Powerlifting and to follow us on social media channels. The links to each of those will be included in the um, description below. Um, um, what else? I'll say the rest at the end of the video. Alright, so, the, for the bench press, I'm sorry I had to say that because I keep saying at the end and, you know, I forget. <laughs> So the bench press uh, uses basically pushing uh, movements. I use the anterior muscles in the anterior chain as well as, you know, it's interesting to me. I don't know if they would say the, 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 the tricep would be included in the anterior chain. I would think so. But because it, cause it's like on the back of the body. The anterior chain is the front muscles and, you know tricep is like on the back of the arm so it's like is that the anterior chain or is that the posterior chain i would think it's the, if it's on the back and all posterior chain uh, muscle group or muscles are on the back then i would say the tricep is part of the posterior chain but that's that's i'm tangent i'm just thinking uh okay so the bench press uses all pushing uh, muscles so the pecs deltoid it's a pushing suppress so you're pushing so uh pec deltoids triceps biceps lats basically <laughs> What carryover do they have? Well, these are the most obvious ones. You'll be able to press. You'll be much better at pushing things. Opening door. This is very straightforward. Opening doors. Uh, yeah, that's really straightforward. Um, I know also, though, I knew a track guy. A guy, he ran, like, long distance track and field, and he also did cross country, and he said that um, bench pressing helped give him more control over um, his arms when he did the movement or when he uh, ran because he, you know, could move his arms faster. So it gave him more speed. And I also know that the um, speed with which you move your arm has a direct relationship with how fast you go. It's weird, but yeah, it's the truth. Um, now for the squat. Squat uses the core, hamstrings, loose quads. Very straightforward. Um, and basically, that's a pressing motion too. But it's very, like, the mo the muscles they use We basically be able to, I know I've gotten much better at running since doing the squat. Um, since squatting heavy, for, at least. Um, so, running, standing, jumping, whatever. Like, I've gotten very explosive too. Like, it's weird. I scare people because how fast I get up. Because that's just me. You know, you ever heard of, like, the thing, like, chimps saying, um, people saying chimps, like, they just think, hit, and then they hit, and they hit so hard because they're explosive. It's kind of like that. Like, you get like that. Like, if you, if you lift any heavy weight, if you squat any heavy weight, you're going to just pop up and you wonder, like, unless you get that control. I don't have that yet. So, um, and then the deadlift, it works all of those muscle groups. And then it also works levator scapula. I think I might be pronouncing that wrong. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, comment below. Hey, bro, you pronouncing that wrong. Levator scapula, soleus, adductor magnus, gastrocnemius, rhomboids, erector spinae, spinae, whatever, hamstrings. Erector spinae or spinae is lower back. Rhomboids, I believe that's a part of your shoulder, like it's muscle back here. Um, gastronemius, I've never heard of that. I've heard of it, but I just, I never, like, I don't work the gastronemius, I just deadlift. So, um, traps, middle and lower, or upper traps. Um, levator scapula, I don't, I think that's somewhere, like, in the upper back or, like, middle back. It's the same as, I, I don't want to tell you any BS, so. I'll actually put the names in the article, like, I'll, I'll Google them and put them in the article, because I don't know for certain. And I don't like to lie. Soleus adductor magnus. Yes. That was weird. Basically, the deadlift actually works m muscles that help push and pull. So I thought it was a pull at first because that's all you do. You pull and then you finish with hip drive. You do everything with hip drive. But really, it, it works. It a, a strong deadlift will have a carry over to your bench and um, squat because it's working all those muscle groups. And it gives you control over your core. It works the side uh, abdominals. And... Yeah, and it gives you some pretty crazy hip drives, which is something that has a carryover in every movement, everything you do, 
really because we use our lower half on a regular basis and makes you explosive which I love um, for more information check out the resources below the article and don't forget to read the article because I, re I really did paraphrase to uh, look check out the article click on the link in the description and you'll see me at the next one peace